How do you communicate with the difficult people in your life? Stay tuned. This video will answer that question. Hi, I'm Cheryl Hunter, best-selling author of Use It, Turn Setbacks into Success. It never fails. One of the most common questions I'm asked by people is, how do I communicate with the difficult people in my life? Now, by difficult people, some people mean their family members or in-laws. Some people mean people that they have to deal with, others that they deal with on a daily basis with whom they butt heads. For example, your boss or the people that you work with. People you are, are forced into dealing with and you have to come up with some solution, but the solution isn't readily available and communication isn't easy. So I've got three solutions. The first of which is set the people in your life up in such a way that they can hear you. I'll give you a couple of examples. Oftentimes we, when we've got something to say, we barge into communication without taking, in, taking into account if the timing works for the other person. A simple question is, does this time work for you to discuss something? They'll say yes or no. Another, another example is we'll want to speak with somebody but, and we want something particular out of their communication, like, may I just communicate something with you so you can hear me? But we don't say that in advance, so they try to solve something and we get upset about it. And the final example is, if you've got some commitment, it's an excellent idea to say that up front. Say, for example, you want to communicate with your mother-in-law, with whom you've never had good communication. You might say something like, we're both committed to having a great relationship, or I know we both love the same person, your, your son, and I want us to have a great relationship because of that. You see, that sets people up in such a way that they can hear what's coming next, as opposed to thinking that you're gonna say something you don't like about them or something else. So the first step in dealing with difficult people is to set them up so they can hear you. The second step is to listen for what's behind their communication. I was leading a seminar recently to a man who said that his mother drove him crazy. Every time he saw her, he said, she'd always say, you're just like your father. You're exactly like your father. Why do you do that? And he asked me, why would she say such a thing? Why? And I turned the question back on him and I said, you tell me, what is she committed to? What can you tell me about your father? What, is she, what do you think is behind her communication? And all of a sudden, this big strong man started to well up a little bit. He said, my father went to prison and my mother, I, I, I think she doesn't want me to be like him. I, I think it's because she cares. I said, it is, isn't it? And he was like, oh my God, all that stuff she always says that drives me nuts, that's because she loves me? Well, you know, who's to say, but it sure beats the heck out of the other interpretation. So the second way to communicate with the difficult people in your life is to listen for the gold. Listen for the commitment behind what they're saying. And finally, the third, the third way to communicate with the difficult people in your life is, and you may not like this one, but consider the difficult people are in fact you. I know it never feels good to hear that, right? But consider that all the things you think about the other person is how they think about you. Just consider that and then bring that into your next conversation and just listen to what they're trying to say, to how they're trying to say it and look at it, flip it around for just a moment and consider that it is they who've been having the same problem with you. Food for thought, right? If you like this video, share it with your friends or your family. Particularly if you've got anyone in your life who's struggling to communicate with someone, someone that they have to deal with, that it's, it's someone for whom it would make a difference if they were able to communicate in a great way and have their communication heard and vice versa. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. More importantly, if you have not yet subscribed on CherylHunter.com, 
do that for premium content and to be kept abreast of classes and videos and things like this, things that I only send out to people on my list. Thank you for being here. The fact that you are the kind of person who's interested in watching a video about how to communicate better, it, it, it just means you are extraordinary. And I acknowledge you. I thank you for spending this time with me. Have your life make a difference.